Hey everybody, Toby from Cape Gunworks here. And of course we have this nasty pending legislation, House Bill 14135, which passed last week and everybody's calling and asking what's gonna happen. And I don't know, it's going to the Senate. So let's hope it dies there where it should. But as an alternative, a lot of people are like, what gun can I buy now as a first, you know, gun that takes AR mags and shoots 556 and all that. And so I wanted to show you guys one gun that's a great starter gun for you that if you've never bought a rifle or you're looking for a good home defense gun, it's very versatile and whatnot, takes AR-15 magazines. So let me show you this FN Saw 249. It is a gun that is on the ban list. So this is a gun that is gonna be banned by name. And it's a perfect little, you know, clinker that you'll you know take to the range and have some fun it could be called upon to defend the home and castle if need be uh this is a very rare gun this is only the second one we've ever got in the shop it's not for the faint of heart it is expensive as it obviously looks expensive but right over here you'll see that's where the ar-15 mag goes and it's also belt fed so naturally the state needs to ban this gun because it's in a constant solution in search of a problem. I want to know how many people have been killed on the streets of Massachusetts with the FN Saw 249. Probably none, right? But that doesn't stop them from wanting to ban it anyway. So there you go. It is one of the guns in the enumerated ban. Uh, super cool, super rare gun. Just thought I'd bring your attention to it. And uh, it is only the second or third one I've ever had at Cape Gunworks. So uh, this gun will not last, so don't fall asleep on this one. You want it, you know you do. Come check it out at Cape Gunworks. Thanks so much for tuning in.